Hi, this is David again, and I just wanted to do a quick demo of my next version of my micro bit guitar. Um, you'll see it's got some micro bits on the end of it. There are copper pads. It has this natty feature where you can slide a clip. I can get this clip open, fold it in half, put it in a bag, open it out again. Um, this, I think it's on the screen, this is how you pluck notes, and these eight pads are how you choose notes. So currently I have uh, eight, well, nine semitones with an open string, so just think of it as a single string. Okay, and it will always choose the highest fretted string, just like on a, or highest fretted note, just like on a real guitar. I can change octaves as well. Let's try and get the right notes. So I demonstrated that at a couple of um, meetups recently and people quite liked it. The other thing I've added tonight, um, I say tonight but it's been most of the day, is I've added in a chord mode. So if I press this you'll see I can change the chord uh, and then I can also change the um, string. That's an A string, D string, uh, yeah D string would do I think. And the way chords work, I'm struggling to get this on the screen actually, but uh, the way chords work is you choose a root note, so this is the D string, so open would be D, that will be an E. Um, and then I have various fingerings, and the fingerings are somewhat inspired by a video I saw on YouTube by the Guitar Zeros, who were a group of lads that uh, modified a PlayStation uh, Guitar Hero controller to play chords. And they had five buttons, and they got quite a few notes on that, and they mapped the, the chords based on binary. So I've gone through and I've thought, well, binary is okay, but I'm going to do those translations in my head, so it's a bit more visual. So if that's the root note, and if I press those two, I get a major chord. So it's like first, third, fifth, that gives me the major chord. If I lift the middle finger, I get a minor chord. Um, if that's a major chord, if I press that, I get the added seventh, and likewise with the minor, if that's the minor, it's the major, it's the minor, it's a minor seventh. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to learning a few pop songs now, because I've got f about 15 different chords in there, and I looked through my guitar chord book, and I chose the most common chords, and a few chords that I know in songs that I want to try and learn how to play. Um, so let's see, you notice that Garage Band shows you the chord at the top. So if I play, that's an F sharp, F sharp minor, F sharp major seventh, F sharp minor seventh. There's various other modes as well. That's the major, it's the augmented. Now I need to choose the right string here. I think it's the, is it the A string? D flat, so that's D. Do it a little bit lower. D major. So that's a D major. It's a D augmented. So um, if you know the Ting Tings, we did a song called Radio DJ, there's a little intro which goes like this. Which is basically um, a D major and a D augmented. Um, and as usual, I can only play you know a quarter of a song. Uh, I can probably play ten songs in total, but that's probably forty quarters of songs. So I've still got a lot of learning to do. Um, I'm thinking of adding some some more notes here because I'm finding that uh, eight plus the open string nine. Sometimes I need a little bit more range, and it's okay. You know, I can press these. Um, octave buttons here. Um, it's quite hard to do as, you, as you're playing it live. Uh, that's it really. Um, I'm going to do some more practicing and probably add some more features. 
Um, I'm just about fitting into the amount of memory that's in MicroPython, so I've got quite a lot of code now to manage all the call tables and things. Um, and if you want to see the project, it's on my GitHub page. Uh, I can probably show you here. GitHub. Um, where we geek? There we go. So I'll just quickly show you through the code. GitHub.com, Mining Geek, Microbit Media Guitar. And I'm currently working on version 2. And there's two key files here. Tone, this is the tone bit. So this is the one that scans the uh, scans the keys. And it sends a message down the serial port uh, to the articulation bit. And then the articulation and MIDI bit. This is the one that's pretty packed now. And you'll see that's got various call tables and pin scanning and various logic for sending MIDI messages and things. So that's getting quite big now. It's almost at the limit of what I can get to fit inside MicroPython. Uh, so I think any more functionality is either going to be optional or at the PC end. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video.